Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the world of JavaScript to learn how to square a number in a simple, efficient manner. This tutorial is perfect for those who are new to JavaScript or looking to enhance their coding skills. So, without further ado, let's get started. Remember, if you find this video helpful, make sure to click the subscribe button below to stay updated on all our latest content. JavaScript is a powerful and versatile programming language that's widely used for web development. With its robust capabilities, you can create dynamic content, interactive features, and much more. It's essential to have a solid understanding of JavaScript if you're looking to level up your web development skills. Before we delve into the code, let's first understand what squaring a number means. Squaring a number is simply multiplying the number by itself. For example, to square the number 5, you would multiply 5 by 5, which equals 25. Now that we have a clear understanding of squaring a number, let's see how we can achieve this using JavaScript. There are multiple ways to accomplish this task, and today we'll explore three straightforward methods, along with their code examples and explanations. Method 1, using the math.pow function. In this method, we utilize the built-in math.pow function, which takes two arguments, the base and the exponent. To square a number, we set the exponent to 2. The function returns the base raised to the power of the exponent. Method 2, using the multiplication operator. This method involves using the multiplication operator to multiply the number by itself, which gives us the square. This is a simple and straightforward way to square a number without using any additional functions. Method 3, using the exponentiation operator. The exponentiation operator is the double star symbol. It can be used to raise a number to a power. In this example, we use the exponentiation operator to square the number by raising it to the power of 2. This operator provides a more concise way to perform exponentiation compared to the math.pal function. To see your code in action, you can run it in your browser's developer console or use an online editor such as JS Fiddle or CodePen. Copy and paste the code snippet into the editor and run it. You should see the correct output displaying the square of the number. And that's it. You now know three different methods to square a number using JavaScript, along with their code examples and explanations. This is just a small step in the world of JavaScript programming, and as you explore further, you'll discover many more exciting possibilities. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to click the subscribe button below and stay tuned for more videos on JavaScript and web development. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop a comment. Thanks for watching and happy coding!